So the way Ableton Live works is that it's got two primary views and they work together quite well, hand in glove. And uh, most people who are familiar with other DAWs opening live for the first time are confronted with this view and tend to panic. It resembles a spreadsheet and it's understandable that's the last thing you wanna look at when you're trying to ultimately make music. So they tend to flee to the somewhat more comfortable realm of the arrangement view, which you can enter uh, via the tab key or by clicking the portal icons up at the top. Uh, portal to the arrange view represented by the three horizontal lines, which we will encounter in other contexts. And the session view in the three uh, vertical columns there. Now, if you're new to live, or maybe you've been using it for a while, but only in the arrangement view, I'm going to do most of my work throughout this uh, course here in the session view. I will get to the arrange view later, but if you're just encountering live for the first time, it's really important that you learn how to use the session view. It's going to unlock a lot of the power that makes live unique. And if you've already gotten comfortable with the arrangement view, but never quite felt comfortable in the session view, this is gonna help you with that as well, deepen your understanding and give you some options you might not have had before. And uh, I think the best way to think about it is that uh, you know the linear arrangement timeline in minutes and seconds counting up left to right, this is how we ultimately do arrange music. If I insert a clip at bar 17, and I'm just uh, using the right click context command, then it will always uh, be triggered at bar 17, which this tempo is approximately 32 seconds. This is how music is arranged, right? And so we can think of it using the analogy of a painter as the canvas. This is where the painting ends up to be shown to people. But before you put anything on the canvas, you need to mix your colors on a palette. And so that's how I think of the session view. This is where the ideas are generated and I start mixing my colors and just kind of exploring the colors I might want to use before I ultimately commit them in the other view. So right now we're looking at a very basic default live set with the two MIDI tracks, two audio tracks. So the session view is composed of vertical columns. These are tracks or channels. Um, that can contain clips or musical ideas in either MIDI or audio format. And on each track, you can have as many uh, MIDI clips as you want on a MIDI track or as many audio clips as you want on an audio track, but only one of them can play at a time. So if you want two clips playing simultaneously, they need to be on different tracks. And those clips can be arranged in horizontal scenes, which can be triggered all together like the sections of a song and we can do all this in real time. Uh, we will be exploring that in depth soon enough, but I just wanted to give you a very quick anatomy of this grid before we move on. And we're about to do that, but the last little glimpse I wanted to give you right now is that, yeah, this is the default um, Ableton Live set, but if I open the browser and I go to my templates, Live now features templates, which is great. So you can create different templates. For example, if you are on the road or if you're your home studio, and these are basically um, different starting points for your creative project. So I'm going to open this one right now called SD template. And I do not need to save. And this is the template uh, that I'm going to start the project I'll be working on.